If I told you that eating fat could save your life and help you lose weight, would you believe me? For some of you, the answer would be no. That's because you've been lied to for decades. The truth is fat isn't the villain it's been made out to be. It's actually one of the most powerful tools for better health and weight loss. Stick with me and I'll show you the science behind why eating fat is exactly what your body needs. And do me a favor, share in the comments if you feared fat before this video or if you're already a believer that fat can be your best friend. So, so why do you fear fat? For years, we've been told that fat is the enemy. This idea started decades ago with poorly designed studies, cherry-picked data, and a lot of bad science. One study in particular you may have heard of, the Seven Country Study claim to show that eating fat caused heart disease. What it really showed was that the researcher conveniently ignored data from countries where fat consumption was high and heart disease was low. But the damage was done. Governments, doctors, and food companies jumped on the low-fat bandwagon. Suddenly, our grocery store shelves were filled with low-fat and fat-free foods. Foods loaded with sugar to make up for the lack of flavor. Here's the irony. As we started eating less fat and more sugar, rates of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease skyrocketed. It wasn't the fat, it was the sugar. Yet here we are, decades later, still clinging to those outdated beliefs. Why? Because most doctors were taught the same flawed information. And unfortunately, medical schools are still not prioritizing nutrition education. Most of us are trained to treat symptoms and not address root causes. That's why so many doctors still fear fat. But today, we're tearing down that myth. Let's get into the science. When you eat carbohydrates, they're quickly broken down into glucose, which spikes your blood sugar and insulin levels. Insulin is like your body's fat storage hormone. It tells your body to store extra energy as fat. Over time, eating too many carbs leads to insulin resistance, weight gain, and unfortunately, metabolic disease. Dietary fat, on the other hand, has almost no effect on blood sugar or insulin. Instead of causing spikes and crashes, fat provides steady energy. It's like throwing a slow-burning log on the fire instead of tossing and kindling that burns out in seconds. When your body metabolizes fat, it produces ketones, an alternate fuel source for your brain and muscles. Ketones are clean-burning, anti-inflammatory, and incredibly efficient. Eating fat not only helps you lose weight, but also reduces inflammation, stabilizes your energy levels, and improves your overall metabolic health. Now let's talk about what happens to your health when you eat more healthy fats. Triglycerides go down. This is important because high triglycerides are a key marker of metabolic dysfunction and fat helps lower them. HDL cholesterol goes up. This is the good cholesterol that protects your heart. LDL particle sizes shift. Dietary fat promotes larger, fluffier LDL particles which are less likely to clog your arteries compared to small, dense particles. And your apolipoprotein B to A ratio improves, another important marker of cardiovascular disease risk. These changes are measurable, scientifically backed, and life-changing. And yet people still fear butter, eggs, and avocados. Why? Because we've been taught to believe that fat is bad for our hearts for decades. And it is so hard to remove those outdated beliefs, especially for those of us who are not keeping up with the science. But here's the truth. The real danger is in the processed carbs and sugars that have taken over our diets. But have no fear. I'm on the board of a new organization called the American Diabetes Society, along with some names you may be familiar with. Dr. Ben Bickman, Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Mariana Glant, and nutrition professionals like Shannon Davis, Michelle Hearn, and Temple Stewart. We are all working to spread the word that fat is not the problem. And by the way, the society isn't the same as the American Diabetes Association. It is an entirely new organization with a bold mission. 
to focus on nutrition as the key to achieving metabolic health. Unlike older organizations that emphasize medications and high-carb diets, the American Diabetes Society is putting food back at the center of the conversation. We are showing that dietary fat plays a critical role in reversing insulin resistance, improving blood sugar control, and even helping people lose weight. Our recipes will feature healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, butter, and ghee, and dare I say, animal fats like lard, beef tallow, and others. Because we know fat doesn't raise blood sugars and it has a tremendous benefit for your metabolic health. This is the message we need to amplify. One of the most persistent myths about fat is that it makes you fat. Let's make this absolutely clear. Dietary fat does not make you fat. Sugar in your diet makes you fat because when you eat sugar or refined carbs, your body stores the excess as fat. When you eat fat, your body shifts into fat burning mode. Here's another thing most people don't know. Fat is incredibly satiating. It keeps you full longer, reduces cravings, and helps you avoid the snacking cycle that leads to overeating. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine you're eating a breakfast of plain oatmeal with a bit of fruit. Your blood sugar spikes and two hours later you're starving again. Now imagine your breakfast is an egg omelet cooked with butter and a slice of avocado. You'll feel full for hours because fat gives your body the slow steady energy it needs. The truth is we need to change the way we think about food, which is why I believe it's time for a metabolic revolution. This is why organizations like the American Diabetes Society and metabolicrevolution.org are so important. We're fighting to change the narrative around fat and nutrition, but they can't do it alone. I'm asking for your help. Share this message with your friends and family. Talk to your doctors about the benefits of dietary fat, support these organizations that are leading the charge for better health through better food, and I'll be sure to share a link to these organizations pinned in the video comments. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to celebrate with a buttery steak cooked to perfection for lunch. Who knew that eating fat could taste this good and be this good for you? So the next time someone tells you to cut out the fat, just smile and say, actually the metabolic health doc told me that eating fat will help me lose weight. I thank you for coming to my channel and remember, eat fat, lose weight, and join the metabolic revolution. Together, we can change the world one bite at a time. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to help spread this life-changing message. I'll see you in the next video.